Hey Collective, it's your girl Ratchet Oracle 22 and welcome to my channel. This is our daily message for today, April 23rd, 2023. I do hope this message finds you all in peace, love, and prosperity. Y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when the readings are posted on my channel. It's the 23rd. I just saw 23 seconds on the clock and it's 2023. So the number 23 could be significant in some way, shape or form. But 23 is a five. So I'm feeling like opportunities for changes, opportunity for growth. Okay. It's definitely present. Okay. You just have to be able to take advantage of the opportunities. I'm hearing that Tussie song. I'm on the stage right now. Singing your favorite song. Okay, don't know how that resonates with you. Um, cotton candy, sweet and cold, sweet and gold. Let me see that Tussie Rose. Someone could be from Miami or down south area. Okay, or something could be going on in the media this week with Young Miami. Okay, someone's name could be Carisha. This message could resonate with you if you are an Aquarius. All right, let's see what spirit has for us today. I'm on the stage right now. The stage, the stage, the stage is sticking out. Someone is being given a platform, okay? Some of you may like have a calling over your life and everything that you have gone through is because you have this specific calling and you had to be prepared for the calling, okay? Calling, there's a Rod Wave song, calling, Every now and then I hear him calling. I came so close to falling. Numb the pain and the money and went all in. I'm all in, yeah. You came so close to falling, collective, okay? You came so close to falling, but you had to heal yourself from the pain and focus on your purpose, your mission, okay? Every now and then I hear it calling. Like you try, I feel like you tried to run from your path it hurt it, you know, that those growing pains that you had to go through in order to get to the point where you had a story to tell. You you have people to minister to, but it hurt. It hurt, and you wanted to give up so many times, collective, so many times. But the calling kept calling you. I don't know why I'm getting that movie with Sandra Bullock. Um... With the birds, I can't even think of what it's called. Okay, someone's name could be Sandy or Sandra. Okay. When I when I see Sandra, I'm also seeing the word sand. Someone could um, have recently gone to the beach or someone could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, and sand is hard to like, when you go to the beach and you um, get sand everywhere, it's hard to get rid of. So someone's dealing with something that's hard to get rid of. Not impossible, but it's hard. So you're either attached to someone's low energy or low vibration, or you're dealing with something that it's hard for you to let go, okay? Or collective, this is how someone feels about you. Let's see what spirit has to say. Bottom of the deck, you have the magician card here. You've definitely manifested a better life for yourself, okay? Definitely manifested a better life for yourself. Against all odds is what I'm hearing. Young and beat the odds. Right away. Um, you got the world card here, okay? So fate. All right, fate. Something has come to an end and a cycle is over, okay? The world card is a Saturn card. I feel like you were going through a... Some of you have were either going through your Saturn return or you were going through your Sati Seti period. The Sati Seti period is when Saturn is conjunct your moon sign, the sign before your moon sign, or the sign after. It's a seven and a half period that everyone goes through at some point in life, and it's said to be the hardest period of our lives because we're faced with obstacles, blockages, and lessons that need to be learned. So either you were going through your Saturn return or you were going through your Sati Seti period. Um, if you were, if you want to know if you were going through your Sati Seti, your moon would, um, and I'm a sidereal astrologer, um, but your moon would have had to been um, Capricorn, Aquarius, or 
Pisces, okay? If you have a Capricorn, Aquarius, or a Pisces moon, um, you were going through Sati Seti. And if you have a Pisces moon, you're currently going through that, okay? Two major arcanas fell out, but the Wheel of Fortune is a um, Saturn card. So, and look, I just said Saturn and the moon, the Sati Seti. And look how spirit always confirms everything. The High Priestess card is a moon card and the World card is a Saturn card. So you were definitely dealing with um, a lot of emotional baggage and a lot of emotional wounds coming up for you, okay? But I do feel like that phasing, a lot of you are at the end of your Sati Seti period or the end of your Saturn return, okay? And with the High Priestess card, it may have hurt those endings. You've experienced a lot of endings in the last seven and a half years. Those endings may have hurt, but... You gained a lot of knowledge. You gained a lot of wisdom. You gained a lot of insight to things that you never would have understood from a higher level had you not gone through the things that you went through. So it is bittersweet because although it was painful, although you had to lose people that you never thought you would lose, although you had to let go, although you had to destruct yourself, you did gain a higher level of awareness, okay? The, the high priestess card is someone who just knows, okay? Someone who has a deep knowing of things with the high priestess, okay? Um, I feel like your subconscious was transformed and renewed, okay? Be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind is what I'm hearing. You renewed the subconscious mind. You had to basically destruct all of your old subconscious beliefs in order to rebuild, in order for your subconscious mind to be aligned with what it is that you're here to do. Because a lot of the belief systems that you had collective weren't even your belief systems, okay? These were things that you were taught either directly or indirectly by a parent or by your life experiences, okay? So in, uh, in a sense, you were asking for things or you were trying to manifest a specific life, but your belief systems weren't aligned with it because you had been through so much hurt and so much pain in life. Your subconscious belief was aligned with that pain and that hurt. Your subconscious mind was holding on to the pain and the hurt and the abandonment and the rejection. So you had to, like Spirit had to put an end to that, okay? The Wheel of Fortune card at the bottom bottom of the deck here it's in reverse yeah you weren't manifesting you weren't receiving your fortune or your inheritance because your subconscious mind needed to be renewed which is what you just did okay i feel like something is being revealed to you collective with the high priestess card here something is being revealed to you so pay attention to your dreams pay attention to your um your intuition okay but a lot of you could still have some deeply rooted fears in your subconscious mind wow another major arcana you got the hangman card in reverse you're no longer feeling stuck collective okay something ended and it caused an awakening and at first you were feeling stuck and i feel like you're no longer feeling stuck with the hangman card in reverse okay is the waiting game is over okay it's go time now you've healed and it's time to go out and minister okay some of you could be 33 to Christ consciousness. I'm getting that. Wow. Another major arcana. You have the eight of wands in reverse and the justice card in reverse. Okay. The tables have turned for you collective tremendously. Okay. Things are happening for you and they're happening fast. You're no longer feeling stuck. You're moving. You're no longer feeling overburdened. You're no longer feel like the ace, eight of wands to me is the void. You see that big black hole is the void. So I feel like for the longest time you felt like something was missing and you couldn't figure out what was missing, but you just found, you found it very ha hard to be happy within yourself because you felt like you needed the parents who abandoned you, the lover who abandoned you, the job that let you go, the car that broke down on you, the house that you lost, the money that you um, couldn't hold on to. You felt like you needed all of those things. And I feel like during this um, cycle of solitude and isolation, you realize that you really didn't need all of the things that you thought you needed, okay? So it's like you learn to fill your own void with that eight of wands in reverse. So the void is gone because you filled it yourself with self-love, okay? The justice card in reverse. You you stop waiting on other people to give you justice. 
someone owes you an apology. And I feel like for a long time, you waited for that apology. You waited for your mom to apologize for being a narcissist. You waited for your ex-spouse to apologize for cheating or leaving you or hurting you, um, abandoning you. You, you know, you waited for that friend who betrayed you to apologize. And you just realized one day, I feel like you woke up and you realized that, Hey, I have to be the one to give myself justice. I can't keep waiting on someone to give me the justice that I deserve. So I feel like you got up and you started creating the life that you wanted, okay? Justice card in reverse, all right? And now someone else is receiving some bad karma, okay? Let's see. Yeah, page of swords. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? The tables have turned. Um, I feel like you are contemplating a lot of things. I feel like now that you're out of this stuck phase collective, it's like, okay, where do I go now? Where am I going from here? What do I do now? Paid, um, this is a page of swords and swords are um, quick. Air sign energy is very quick. It's fast. Okay. So I feel like, like I said, things are moving fast for you and you're just trying to figure out what direction that you want to go in now because you definitely don't want to make any more mistakes. Okay even though you're going to make them. You don't want to intentionally make any mistakes, all right? Yeah, you have the Ace of Wands here. You're getting a passionate new beginning. That's where you go next, okay? Some of you are starting businesses, but like I said, I feel like for a strong percentage of you, you have a calling over your life, whether this is through therapy, whether this is through ministry, whether this is through prophesizing, whether this is through helping other people heal. You are a healer collective, okay? And I feel like you could be building a business around helping other people to heal. You're taking your story and how you healed and how you overcame, and you're going out there and doing what Jesus would have did, okay? Or what Jesus did. The fool card here, all right, at the bottom of the deck. Um, some of you are meeting a new person, okay? Or some of you are getting a new beginning with someone. Let's see. Yeah, I told you. Some of you are about to get the family you always wanted. Some of you have waited so patiently so long. You've cried a lot of tears. You're tired of being alone, okay? You got the Ace of Wands followed by the Ten of Cups. You're getting a new passionate beginning. The person that you meet could be an um, air sign, okay? Or the person that you end up with could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be, okay? But you are getting your happy ending, collective. Yeah, a judgment call to be made, all right? No lie, someone's getting married. Someone is going to come in and propose to you, okay? Someone is getting... If, look at this. Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, and then the judgment card. There is a proposal, okay? Someone wants to come in and offer you something. You've healed, and that's what turned the wheel in your fate, okay? You're getting a new beginning, bottom of the deck, um, full card again. Someone wants to marry you. Someone wants a, a, a second chance. Either this is someone who wants a second chance with you, or this is someone who is just like you. This person has been hurt. This person has been betrayed. And they're looking for their person as well. And you see how the person in this card has angel wings. I feel like there's an angel. Some of you could have an ancestor who's either a fire or a water sign who's guiding you, okay? Who's guiding you and helping guide you and this person either back together or guide you to the new person. Okay, for some of you, there's three people interested in you. This is this is you for some of you. And these are the three suitors, okay? So some of you are going to have to make a choice. I'm hearing Tupac, all eyes on me, okay? And Tupac was a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. And I you we be feeling like um, people aren't like noticing. But I feel like Pete, someone is watching you, especially if you're a Gemini. They're just not speaking up because they ain't ready. Yeah, this person could be a Capricorn, Gemini. If you're a Gemini dealing with a Capricorn, this person is watching you, definitely. The devil card, okay? Someone's very depressed. There's an emperor who's very depressed, okay? There's a mother or a father of your child who's very depressed because this person could abandon you in a child. This person could have went off and got married. This person could have went off and started a family elsewhere. This person could have started something new with someone else, okay? And that's ending. 
that that marriage is ending in divorce okay even if they didn't get legally married okay this person went to play house with someone else this person fell for a temptation with the devil card here okay the justice card in reverse it's over someone's getting a divorce okay and again this is a this is an older person all right the lessons of that relationship has been learned with the three of pentacles coming out next the lesson of the relationship has been learned. And then look what's up next. The four of wands, the reconciliation. You and someone are reconciling, okay? Because their lessons, wherever they were, are complete. There's nothing else to learn. This was never who, where, there was, where they were supposed to be or who they were supposed to be with, okay? Yeah, the two of wands in reverse, okay? The choice has been made. There's no more contemplating because the choice has already been made. Now, it's just about alignment, okay? Heavy Aries energy coming up in this reading. Someone could be an Aries. Lord. Yep. Death card here. I told you something is over. Lover's card at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, but yeah, someone went off, started something new with someone else. Temperance card here. It's over. It's dead. There's nothing else for this person. There's no more room for growth. This person had to complete a karmic cycle with someone collective. And although it hurt you, it's just what had to happen. But it's over, okay? Lover's card at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are dealing with a twin flame soulmate connection. And this person was with the karmic. But they've learned their lessons. And when I say lessons, this has nothing to do with you. Whatever they came here to do with that person, okay? They fulfilled that. They fulfilled the contract. And I feel like now that's ending. This person is probably getting caught up doing the same thing they did to you with that devil card coming out, okay? If this person cheated on you, this person's getting caught up. And he's, he cheated on, he or she cheated on this person too. All right, but they were never meant to be with this person in the first place. All right, so this person has some lessons to learn. Collective. That's what I have for you. Bottom of the jack, magician card in reverse. Peace.